Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will solve a problem on SOPL. From the following trial balance, prepare SOPL of Z company for year ended 31st March 2023. So, they are given certain details equity share capital of rupees 100 each, sales and purchases they have given, returns they have given. See, in, in sales and purchases, whatever it is there in debit column, this is purchases. And whatever it is there in credit column, it is sales. When we speak about returns, whatever it is there in debit column, it is sales returns. And in credit co column, the, whatever the amount is there, that is purchase return. This we should be very careful. Next, we have debentures. Next, salaries, bad debts, property, plant and equipment, patents, welfare expenses, transportation and internet, opening stock, profit from discontinued operations. Apart from this, we do have certain additional information. Tax is 30%. Proposed dividend is 10%. So this proposed dividend is appropriation. We call it as appropriation. Just ignore that. Ignore it. Don't consider that. Closing stock is 2,50,000. Reduce patent uh, and PP by 10%. It is nothing but amortization and depreciation. Now, using this information, we have to prepare SOPL. First, I think by this time you should be aware. First, we have to take revenue from operations. First, to know revenue from operations. Revenue from operations is uh, how much? Let us check the question. Yes, we do have sales also as well as sales return also. Sales so there, sales return with it. Yerdu iro trida. Now working note na maadbe kagate. So we have to open up a working note. So working note number one. Working note will have two column. Particulars and amount column. Working note number will be one will be for revenue from operations. So we have on one side we have sales minus sales return. We have to do sales minus sales return. Sales is 20 lakh and sales return is 50,000. So 20 lakh minus 50,000 will give us the value of 19 lakh 50,000. This 19 lakh 50,000 we have to write it in our SOPL statement, statement of profit and loss. For this we need to add other income. Let us check the question. Do we have any other incomes? No, we don't have any other income. When we don't have anything, then it will be zero. Now, if you add these two, you will get 19,50,000. That is our total income. We added under revenue from operations 19,50,000 plus other income zero. We added an add madre 19,50,000 per the total income. Now we need to write down all the list of expenses. We do have seven list of expenses. First one is cost of materials consumed. So question, let us check. In question, they have not given any cost of materials consumed. When they have not given, we will be considering it as zero. In a land, zero entirely consider Marti. The second item which we will be considering is purchase of stock in trade. Purchase of stock in trade. Stock in trade purchase in a consider Marti. So again, questionally, Yeradiriti Kotizare, purchase with a purchase. Returns with it. We do have purchase also as well as purchase returns also. When two items are there, we have to prepare a working note. So working note is required. So our second working note speaks about purchases. So we have to take purchase minus purchase return. Our purchases is 7 lakh rupees and purchase return is 1 lakh rupees. So 7 lakh minus 1 lakh will be 6 lakh rupees. So this 6 lakh rupees amount we will be writing in the purchase column. Next will be changes in inventory of finished goods or stock in trade or work in progress. So they have, we have opening stock also as well as we do have even closing stock also. Yared item itdaka again one more working note required. So working note number 3. So working note number three will speak about changes in inventory. So opening stock minus closing stock formula. 
Opening stock one lakh rupees is there. Closing stock two lakh fifty thousand rupees is there. Opening stock one lakh is there. Closing stock two lakh fifty thousand is there. If you add a minus, one lakh fifty thousand negative answer. Minus one lakh fifty thousand. Same as it is minus one lakh fifty thousand. So minus one lakh fifty thousand. Next the fourth expenses will be employee benefit expenses. Nalak ne the employee benefit expenses. So let us check the question. Question we have salaries is there. Plus, we do have welfare expenses. And the yellow item is there. We do have two items. When two items is there, we know that we have to prepare a working note. So, fourth working note. Fourth working note speaks about employee benefit expenses. Fourth working note speaks about employee benefit ex expenses. We do have salaries plus welfare expenses. Salaries is 1,50,000. Plus welfare expenses is 75,000. If we add both, we will get 2,25,000. This 2,25,000 we will be writing in employee benefit expenses. Next will be finance cost. Any interest on loan, interest on debentures, RET items, check mark. Yes, we have 10% debentures. So debentures is there. So debentures, 10% debentures. So so we have debentures 10 lakh rupees debentures into 10 percent 10 lakh rupees debentures there holders and 10 percent interest so we will get 1 lakh rupees as the answer so the answer is 1 lakh rupees so we will get 1 ok next Depreciation and amortization. Depreciation with the amortization. Let us check the question. Okay. Questionally, they have given here that reduce patent and PP by 10%. So, PP is the patent. 18 lakh PP is 4 lakh patents. That is 10% reduce. So, we do have depreciation and amortization. Depreciation and amortization is there. So, working note, here it is item 0 in the working note. So, our fifth working note will be depreciation and amortization. First, we will be doing it for PP. For PP, value of PP is 18 lakh and 10% we have to reduce. So, 10% depreciation will be 1 lakh 80,000 plus patents. We have 4 lakh rupees value into 10% will be amortization 10% on 4 lakh will be 40,000 so 1 lakh 80 plus 40,000 will give us an answer of 12 sorry 2 lakh 20,000 this 2 lakh 20,000 I have to write it here 2 lakh 20,000 next will be other expenses next will be other expenses so let us check the question. Anything have they given about the other expenses? Yes, we have bad debts. We have transportation and internet. So added items are there. Added items are there. One working note mark So working note number six. So we have bad debts plus transportation and internet. Bad debts is 90,000 rupees. Transportation and internet is 25,000 rupees. When we add both, we will get a value of 1,15,000. This 1,15,000 rupees, we will be writing it here on other expenses. Now add all this. 6 lakh minus 1,50,000 plus 2,25,000 plus 1 lakh plus 2,20,000 plus 1,15,000. plus one lakh fifteen thousand. add one we get 11 lakh 10,000 rupees. We will add money that we get 11 lakh 10,000 rupees. This is our total expenses. This is our total expenses. We have total income that is 19 lakh 50,000 and total expenses that is 11 lakh 10,000. If the added and add minus money, we will get 8 lakh 40,000. This is known as profits or loss before exceptional items and tax. If the total income 19 lakh 50,000 
minus total expenses 11 lakh 10000 ide ide eradana subtract madidre 8 lakh 40000 rupees barutte idu profits before exceptional items and tax next will be exceptional items exceptional items ellu kottila hagagi exceptional items will be zero next the profit before tax also remains same 8 lakh 40000 irutte idu hing bantu andre 8 lakh 40000 minus zero next tax expenses in question they have given that tax will be how many percent taxes 30 percent and the question is got to the right how I eight like forty thousand minute that the percent in a hack of the we get two like fifty two thousand we get two like fifty two thousand at the now reduce my people when we reduce the tax liability we get five like eighty eight thousand and that is known as profits from continuing operations as in a profit from continuing operations and the category how did we get this introduction alvats our profit before tax in the profit in a minus madre is to profit two like fifty two thousand minus madre five like eighty eight thousand rupees profit from continuing operations sigate other in the now next segment if obeco that is profits from discontinued operations in questions they have given that profits from discontinuing operations is 3 lakh rupees so ega e 3 lakh mele again 30 percent tax on a peku 3 lakh mele 30 percent tax on a 90,000 3 lakh in the 90,000 in a subtract mother 3 2 lakh 10,000 birthday this 2 lakh 10,000 is profit or loss on discontinued operations after tax it hang but on the 3 lakh rupees is a gross profit from discontinuing operations minus tax 90,000 tax minus mother 2 lakh 10,000 rupees birthday ega we have profits from continuing operations and profits from profits from discontinuing operations at the end in the ad mother we will get total profit a total profit will be 7 lakh 98,000 rupees so for profit from continuing operations is 5 lakh 88,000 plus 2 lakh 10,000 rupees profit from discontinuing operations at the end in the ad mother 7 lakh 98 rupees birthday that is our total profits it is a comprehensive income at one day question and they are the comprehensive income cotilla in question they have not given any kind of comprehensive income so our total comprehensive income will also remains the same well how did we get this seven lakh ninety eight thousand rupees is a total profit plus zero other comprehensive income so when we add both we will get nine seven lakh ninety eight thousand rupees this ends our SOPL. Next, we have to calculate earning per share. So, we have to calculate first for EPS for continued operations. Continued operations ke earning per share in the market. Total equity share capital is 28 lakhs. Each share value is 100 rupees. So, total capital divided by number of shares. We 28,000 rupees. This 28,000 is number of shares. If 28 lakhs was the share capital each share price was 100 rupees when you divide both of them you get 28,000 as answer and this 28,000 is number of shares now the profits from continuing operations is 5 lakh 88,000 this 5 lakh 88,000 should be divided by number of shares that is 28,000 we get EPS that is 21 rupees similarly we have to do it for discontinued operations discontinued operations profit is 2 lakh 10,000 and from the 2 lakh 10,000 should be divided by number of shares that is 28,000 we get 7.5 rupees now next step is to find out the total EPS from both continued as well as discontinued operations from continued operations it is 21 rupees plus discontinued operations is 7.5 rupees both if you add you will get 28.5 rupees this will end our SOPL Hope you have understood how to solve this problem very well. In my next video, I'll come back with some more problems. Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video.